Okay, this is for the people who want to see how you have to find, try to find a tardigrade. So what happens is I get some moss from a tree or a rock or somewhere, and I put it in, in a little uh, glass plastic dish, maybe about a quarter of an inch of water with some, some moss and mud. And then you just have to poke through it with your pipette. And, you know, water bear, they eat, they suck the juice out of these, out of this moss right here. So sometimes you can find them on here. So usually I'll look through the moss first, poke out a little bit. And this, this sample has been soaking for about six hours. So really, it might not even be ready. If there's any water bears that were dried up, they might not be back into life yet. And really what you're looking for is motion. <clears throat> and once I see motion, I'll, I can zoom like this. Let's say I thought I saw some motion there. And then, you know, you could zoom in like that. And then with this level right here, you surely would see the tardigrade. I mean, you'd see them just like it was under a regular microscope. So this is a stereo microscope. It's lower power and it'll zoom back and forth. So you just fish around in here. This could take minutes or it could take hours. You just get, and then if you don't, if you're not satisfied with what you see in here, you put this back and draw some more water and m more pieces of moss until you find one. And sometimes you can go hours without finding them. Um, you know, just be that that sample didn't have them or it had them, but just one and you passed him up. So what we can do now, you know, and then, you know, you can kind of wiggle this around a little bit. I'm zoomed all the way out. This is about 10, 10X, 15X. And I kind of wiggle this around. You know, they're so tiny, you're not gonna squish them with this. You're not gonna squish them, I guess. And then now I look, I try to go below the surface and just look at the gravel on the bottom and see if I see any motion. So you just take one section at a time. And I kind of know what I'm looking for, but if you don't, you, I mean, you ain't gonna find them because they're very, very small. Like at this, at this magnification right here, they would be about as small as one of those pebbles, maybe a little bigger than one of those pebbles down there, but not too much bigger than those. So that's what you're looking for, something moving. You wanna get something that's moving. And I just saw a little mite. You can see my pipe pad here, moving stuff around. So when you go into focus, right now I'm trying to focus on the ground, on the gravel on, down here. So now I hope you appreciate the value <laughs> of how this works. You know, you don't just go out and grab a tardigrade by the ears and bring them in. This is part of the whole process. And sometimes it works and you get a good tardigrade and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm gonna blow some air in here, see? So what I'll do is zoom out and just blow some air. Swish it around. <laughs> you know, some people are real delicate with their samples. I've never had any trouble. I've never found a dead tardigrade, so. Like in here, like say in this mud right here, 
this little piece of the, the root system. Tardigrade would be easily visible in here. You know, you would see him moving. He'd be, he'd be small. He'd be about as big as that little golden thing right there. See that little golden thing I'm touching? Not up here, this one right here. That's about how big he would be at this magnification. But the trouble with this magnification, you can't search around too much. And you know, you, you, you wanna have a decent magnification so you could see them, but you also don't wanna spend six hours looking in, in one sample, so you need some space. So I still don't see any here. If anybody has any ideas how to do this better, let me know. So there's some gravel. Basically what you're doing is just looking for any motion because they tend to move around a lot. So you would see it just, you'd see some of these rocks moving. Let's just stare at this for a minute. And I don't even see any, any hookworms in here. Uh, usually you would see some hookworms or some other life. And it it kind of aggravates me that I don't see, I don't even see a hookworm because that means, I don't know, I might have some chemical on it that killed everything. Pesticide, maybe they did. I see something in here. I don't think it's a tardigrade, though. Let me see. Nah. And the reason it gets blurry like that is because I got a film on top of the water. I got two levels. I got the top level of stuff floating around, and then I got the, the pebbles on the bottom and you're looking through the top level to the bottom, so that's why it's a little blurry. So anyway, I'm gonna go get another sample and put it on and continue to look. Now when I find one, what I'll do is I'll leave him in here and I'll turn, I'll put the camera back on and, and I'll show you how, well, we'll try to capture him. Uh, to capture him, you would just kind of focus in on them. And let's pretend, let's pretend that little thing right, whoops, right there is the tardigrade. So what you would do is get your pipette. <laughs> you can't even get in there. <laughs> Hold on. So you get your pipette ready. And let's pretend that's the tardigrade. You do this and then you suck it in. So I just got that in here. And that's how you do it. And then you bring it over to a regular slide. Let me blow one more time. See if we can see anything. No. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this one. I'm gonna get another sample and we'll start again.